Hello and welcome to News Click. The news magazine, The Caravan, has come out with an exclusive report with details that can truly be called explosive. Vivek Dowal, the younger son of National Security Advisor Ajit Dowal, has been revealed to be the director of a hedge fund based out of the Cayman Islands. Now, the Cayman Islands are a well known tax haven, and this hedge fund was set up in November 2016, just 13 days after the infamous demonetization. The report also talks about a web of mysterious companies, both in Asia and in other parts of the world. And another key player in this whole business is Shaurya Dawal, the elder son of Ajit Dawal. Shaurya Dawal is also known for his association with the India Foundation, which is very close to key members of the Modi government. All this, of course, also has to be seen in the context of Ajit Dawal's report in 2011, which advocated a harsh crackdown on entities based out of tax havens. The very same sort of firm his son seems to run. To talk more about this, we have with us Hartosh Singhpal, the political editor of The Caravan. Hello, Hartosh. Thank you for joining us. Hartosh, could you just first give us a couple of key takeaways from this story? What would you see? Sure. And I first just want to credit the reporter, Kaushal Shroff, who did the story. Excellent work, a lot of research, a lot of digging in, went into the story. And I mean, the takeaways are straight. Uh, this is the National Security Advisor's sons. Uh, the National Security Advisor has himself been very emphatic about financial crimes. This government has been very emphatic about financial crimes. Uh, the Security Advisor has warned us long ago that tax havens, uh, mysterious funds, entities operating from places where scrutiny is not possible need to be looked at and there should be a crackdown on them. Now it turns out that over the past four years, uh, not even four years, less than that, very much during the term of this government while he's been NSA, his sons have been running exactly the very kind of entities he had cautioned the country against. And that raises a huge number of questions. Uh, the youngest son has not been in the limelight so far, Vivek Deol. He's a British citizen uh, operating out of the UK with a hedge fund established in the Caymans Island, Cayman Islands, well-known tax haven used by many people, well protected from scrutiny uh, with an entity in Singapore investing in India. Uh, <coughs> this hedge fund was set up uh, just shortly after demonetization. Uh, in the two years since, we've seen a surge of inflow into India of money from the Cayman Islands. Uh, more money has come in from the Cayman Islands into India in the two years of demonetization, since demonetization, than has come in from 2000 to 2016. At the same time, the company that has been handling uh, Vivek Doval and Shaurya Doval, their businesses are inextricably linked same employers, administrative linkages. So you can't say they are operating two separate businesses. It's almost impossible to untangle them, directorships, employees. Uh, uh, the company in India handling the investment Edelweiss has seen a huge turnaround in profits itself. We are not suggesting anything. We are raising questions very much in the spirit of what the NSA has advised. Scrutiny of tax havens, scrutiny of money inflow. We have sent questions out. We wanted to know what was the money that had come through from the Cayman Island hedge fund. What is the source of these funds? This is the NSA Sun investing in India. This has to be put to greater scrutiny than any normal fund. And even normal funds is something Doval has said should be scrutinized. Right. So uh, to go a bit more into the details, one of the interesting things the report points out is how basically the company saw a drastic surge in its fortune since its foundation. It was nowhere in 2016 and by 2017 it was uh, sure. with the, in the big league. So could you talk a bit more about that? Well, uh, that is one of the unfortunate parts. We don't know where that money has come from. And uh, if we want transparency, we want to know what is happening, where this money is coming from, there is one published interview that the source of the funds is the Gulf. What is that source? At demonetization, 10 days after demonetization, you have the Indian economy, people, things are collapsing, there are questions being raised. Why at that time is a fund seeing a sudden rise in investment, looking forward to investing in a country where things are in a quandary, questions are being asked? Right. All these are obvious questions and they haven't been answered. Exactly. 
And for that matter, even if you look at the fact that some of the key players associated have also been named in the Panama Papers. And, and the Paradise Papers, which raises further questions. Again, what is the NSA Sun doing in association with such people? And as I keep saying, this is no ordinary person, no ordinary... Even without the NSA connection, these funds should be under scrutiny given the timing, given the involvement, given the source of these funds, their location. And if you look at Shauri Dawal too, he is right now possibly a candidate for the Lok Sabha as well. And this raises very problematic questions but as well. But again, the how sons rise with the fortunes of the father, Shaurya Doval, is a good example. What was Shaurya Doval's competence before Ajit Doval becomes NSA and this government comes to power? There's a think tank which is working closely with the government. So there are strong security implications of Shaurya Doval heading Vivekanand Foundation, uh, which is constantly in touch with the Modi government over issues of security, national policy, is has a close advisory role, is linked to Ram Madhav from the RSS BJP. Uh, and if such a person is now dealing with a chain of businesses, which at one end goes back to the Saudi royals, and at the other end goes back to the Cayman Islands, then we are asking very, very important questions. And this is a person who's going to probably be given a ticket for uh, a BJP Uttarakhand seat. And uh, we're also possibly seeing, is it, could you say that the Cayman Islands is now, say, a second Mauritius for that matter, considering the... Well, uh, that is clearly the case. And if, I mean, the uh, one question about the Cayman Islands have always been asked. But in, in this case, you've seen a surge of inflow of funds from the Cayman Islands in the last two years. Forget everything else. The government should be uh, scrutinizing and looking at what is this money coming in from the Cayman Islands. Who's bringing that money in? We should have this breakup available to us. Right. These are important questions. And so, how do you see this in the context of, I mean, for the BJP for the past nearly a decade, and especially the last four to five years has been on this whole campaign against black money, and this basically punctures the argument completely. It's a far more sophisticated <coughs> operation, perhaps, but it's definitely uh, very shady as far as the report goes. Well, obviously, it raises questions. If you are cracking down on certain things, if you're raising questions about certain things, you are preaching to the country about financial probity, saying that this is how this country is run, there is a new transparency. Well, the transparency should start at the very top. Exactly. And we are at the very top when we are talking of the NSA and his sons. Right, right. So in terms of uh, investigations or probes, there has been no response from the government either. As far well, as well the questionnaires were sent out. We waited for responses. Nothing has come through. I'm sure something else may come through. I'm hoping there is a very clear and easy explanation and that should be given. And I'm sure that some of the funds, the money, the entire span of Vivek Doval's business and Shaurya Doval's business, the Cayman Island funds, that all this will be made public. I mean, this is in everybody's interest. I think even Mr. Doval himself would like to do so. And I think that's the best thing that can happen. Thank you, Atosh. That's all we have time for News Click today. Keep watching News Click.